what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by if you're returning hey girl hey first things first happy vlogtober <laughs> we are at the airport not quite yet actually we're in the employee parking lot and today we're doing a day in the life as an airline employee so it's time to go catch the bus and i'm taking y'all with me throughout my entire day today so let's go girls that's the first bus y'all i don't take that bus it's too early i'm getting on the second bus that leaves at 420. i just didn't realize i got the security so quick so that was the 420 bus or 410 bus i like to catch the 420 bus the 410 bus i just i beat you soon so let's go okay. i'm about to sit here and edit while i'm on the bus i already checked some files so they're on my ipad i'll see y'all when we get to the airport how are you we're here y'all so this is my outfit i have my vest over my jacket then i have one of the long tear shirts on pants boots so, simple cute little i was thinking about putting some lip light on but i think today we just gonna keep it simple so i'm gonna just find my vaseline and call it a day and then we're gonna go upstairs see if we're assigned to anything and i want to get me a bang lemonade before my day gets started so all right quick little spray dossier Mango lemonade with no ice, please. Mango lemonade, yeah. nice. Thank you. I took this complete pizza. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. <sighs> All right, y'all. I just checked my schedule. I'm all the way down in the 60s. Any ends is down here in 20, so I just figure I come down here now, and then my plane gets here at 5:30. So I have about 40 minutes before my plane comes. So I'm gonna run back to the break room, get my purse, my water, and then we'll head off to the 60s. I'm pretty sure 66 is my gate, but it's possible 67 is. Either way, we're gonna go outside. I just want to show y'all my favorite place, the outdoor sitting area. You can watch the planes as they come in, as they leave, but. It's a little chilly. We're going back inside. I lied. We ain't staying out here. Alright. I'm going to get my iPad out. I literally have one piece left to edit on this video. It needs to go up. Make a quick thumbnail. And then... That should take me like a little bit of time that I have before my plane gets here. So I also need to look and see which gate I'm at. So let's do that real quick. I think I'm at 66. If so, I was here yesterday all day. Ooh, y'all like my little cup? Ain't she cute? I made it today before I came in. It's gonna be one of, not that design, but you know, some cups like that are gonna be in my Etsy shop when I open it. That one I actually messed up on. So I was like, this gonna be my cup. All right, I have my vacation declaration right here. So I need to go ahead and drop that off today. That one has not moved over to online. It is still paper and I need to do it. So let me go ahead and pull up my editing and I will talk to y'all once I figure out where we're going and which gate I'm at. I know it's gonna be a full flight because wherever I'm going, to said 180 people were listed for the flight. Our biggest plane only holds 175. You do the math. Not my old airline pull in. Y'all see that? Anybody know? Who is that? Anybody know? I'm gonna let you guess why it's coming past that glass. Ooh, big G4. I really love being down here at this time of day. Like from like 3.30 to like 7. You can see like the international carriers um, come through. Right now it's 5.12 so it's a little bit later. But if I was a little bit early I would have got to see all the people come through. We should still see um, Air Lingus come through here in a little bit. I don't think we're going to catch Lufthansa today. But we'll see. Okay, video is done. I just downloaded it. I'm about to make a quick thumbnail and we got to go to my gates. Oh, we never find out what you guys are going to. Alright, pulled it up. I'm assigned to two flights. First flight gets here at 5.30. Pushes out at 6.15. It's coming from Salt Lake City going to Ontario. The next flight after that is from Long Beach heading over to New Orleans. So, oops, something just updated. Oh, my plane just popped in range. 
It's at 63, y'all. I'm at the 67 is my next gate, so I'm oh, that's just in the corner. I'm not too far, but it is in range now, so I do have to go to my gate. So I'm gonna have to take a pause on the Edison and head over. Let me see if I have any wheelchairs. Prospect copy. Um, can I please get two wheelchairs to C63? Hey, when's the next Ontario flight? Okay, have you got any launchers yet? Okay, well, if I get anybody, I'll send them over to you guys. You're welcome, thank you. Bye. Hi, how are you? And that's tonight you'll get me there? That would be a customer service question. I'm sorry, I have no clue when the next oh, flight is. You just said it. I, no, I said if I get anybody, I'll send them over to you, which is my customer service agent. That was the lady in the middle oh, that was that making the announcement. You no. Oh, we were all looking around the corner. Where did I gotta go? Over in here? the center, underneath the desk, to the okay. sign that says 65, right there, okay? All right, thank you. Alright y'all, I'm filling out my field ticket. I'm getting to make an announcement for my flight for my own crew as well. Okay. So there is potential for oversell on this flight. Like why? Uh and my CSA is doing a wonderful job. They jump on it early, which is super great for them because now the later you wait, the more compensation you gotta do. So Luckily, there is another flight tonight that someone can get on if we should need to get a volunteer. And they're offering 800 bucks off the rip. Come on now. Whew. All right. There was a lady at my gate, and she was talking to everybody about her marriage and how she's been married for like seven something years. And she came up to me and was asking me about the delay. She was like, or not delayed, over She was like, I can't take another flight. I'm like, okay, girl. Is that my plane landing back there? That's us. Hold on. Y'all see that plane right there? That's us, it just landed. Ooh, what is this? It's saying brownie griddle, but this don't look like a brownie griddle. Oh, it is brownie griddle. I have a couple of um, boxes of pretzels in here too. So I'll probably just take this upstairs to the gate. Since it's sitting down here, I'm passing it out to the passengers. My daughter like brownie griddle, so I'm gonna grab her two bags out of here. I'm gonna get one for Julie's, one for Jersey. I might get one for Kyle to try too. But other than that, passengers can have it. That plane is getting ready to push. Can y'all hear me? It's so loud. I'm sorry. Here comes our plane. Over there, somewhere. Hold on, let me find it. Boom! There it is. It's coming back now. About to come to the gate. Now that they turn off their engines, hi! I can go ahead and check out my earplugs. This is my next gate, C67. But for now, I'm just about to sit over here and finish doing my thumbnail like I told you earlier. So I just pushed my flight. It got busy and crazy over there. Y'all, I had to just let it go. So let's talk about it. The plane was going to Ontario, it was oversold. We got a volunteer. Perfect. I had seven wheelchairs going on. Full flight. It was just chaotic. We had a gate check, a couple bags. Um, yeah, and we took a two minute delay. We boarded two minutes late though, so it balanced out a little bit. And the delay didn't fall on me. While I'm sitting here, I'm just going to go ahead and check my email because this company had reached out to me for collaboration. But they want to talk on WhatsApp. And I told them I don't have WhatsApp. And they just keep trying to convince me to download it. Like, just she was like, it's very simple. Download the WhatsApp. You only need to download and register at the Alpha Mall. It takes one or two minutes. I don't want WhatsApp on my phone. So, I guess we ain't doing this collaboration because I, I already told them I don't want to do WhatsApp. So, you just as simple as you are going back and forth with me on my email, you could literally be doing that but you choosing to go back and forth so whatever i'm about to go ahead and just do my thumbnail 
How are you? Okay. <laughs> you see my camera and turn right around. Updates. I'm still sitting here. It's dark outside. But I'm tracking my flight. I think I'm going to go to the vending machine and give me a little snack because I didn't bring anything. And then after this flight, last time I checked, I was scheduled for lunch after this flight. So I'm going to walk over to Cordova and get me some chips and queso. Y'all, I see five lines on my flight schedule. There's no reason we have five lines. I hope these are not all turns because it's so I'm about to call this bitch. I have to call up there because why? Why am I assigned to this many flights? I'm about to check everybody else who started at my same time too. And if they're not assigned to this many flights, problem. I don't think I'll make it over to the I got on some chips and a butterfinger. finger. Now my plane getting ready to land, so let's go upstairs. This is a full flight. Full flight. And I said full flight. I mean, this is not a full flight, and it's an eight max, y'all. I'm gonna have to three zone count this. Three zone this flight, and it's on the ground. Prospect copy. Can I get one wheelchair six seven, please? No, 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 no. Thank you. Plane is on the ground. Got my fuel ticket. It is chilly in here. I took my sleeves off my big jacket just to wear it like a vest, but I think it's about time to start wearing my bigger jacket because it has been cold at night lately. Ridiculous. So this plane going to New Orleans and it has 80 people on the plane and like 40 something bags checked in on the max. It's not asking for a zone count, but I know all too well it's gonna ask for a zone count probably at the end. I'm about to let the ramp know, please follow my loading instructions, please. Cause if they don't, it's gonna mess stuff up top for me. And I don't really wanna have to deal with that. It's so dark out here. Like you can't even hardly see that plane right there, can you? There's a plane right in front of us. There go a plane United right there. There's a plane on the other side of that. Let's see. There goes Southwest. Is that a? That might even be us, y'all. He just came off the runway. Yup. So dark out here. Let's see if that's our plane. That one right there is not ours. That's a 700. We're doing a max, so ours coming from a different way. I stopped tracking the flight, so I honestly don't know which direction it's coming from. I didn't see. I guess we'll just wait and see for it to get here. I did not even see if it was a full flight coming in. I see a plane just bent the corner down there. Maybe that's us. Okay. I'm going to try to record when I open the door, y'all. I don't know if I can or not because I didn't bring my tripod. Um, my camera, I'm recording my phone. But maybe I can hear like interaction a little bit with me and the crew. Maybe. I don't know if it's in town. That's definitely a max right there. So that's gotta be us coming in. Ooh, I don't know why it's blurry. Let's see. Right there. Can you see it? That's us. We here. Ooh, y'all see that red mark, y'all? I didn't smash my freaking hand. There she goes. Come on in, baby. Ooh, this is a full low. I see two jump scooters up front. Oh my goodness. That means it's uh, at least at least 175 people in the back. If there's some jump scooters in the back, it could be more. With those two jump scooters in the front, that's 177. If you got two more in the back, that's 179 people plus the crew of six. So what you looking at, go? Looking all over here. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Okay, baby. Honey child. Ah, hold on. 
Hold on. Skirt, skirt. Back up. Just a wee bit. Connecting in, so I'm about to just check the connections to see if they're here already. All right, oh, they're coming from New Orleans, going back to New Orleans. That plane is already here, and then my D is coming from Long Beach, and that plane just got here 30 minutes ago. Have a good one. Thank you. Hey, I'm back. Work in New Orleans, you guys need anything from the plane? <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I was just telling her my daughter literally always wants hot chocolate when I when we fly. Always. Can I take three packets? Great, yeah. 45. Let me see here. New Orleans, yes, that's here. We'll start boarding in about 20 minutes. Yeah. All right. Sometimes I ask my CSAs if they want something, they want to go to the plane with me because they don't get to go down. Hey, how's it going? Um, are we still expecting a wheelchair push? Yeah, uh, I think that's him right there in the corner. I, I think in the red over there. Okay, all right. Because <laughs> I, I saw those wheelchairs and grab one. But Thank you. Uh, hi, how are you? You going to New Orleans? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start boarding in about 20 minutes. Okay, well, I want to show you something. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's all changed. They, uh, okay. they change all day. Oh, Let okay. me see here. Yeah. I'm sure that's what it was. It says the uh, Southwest 1745. 1745. Yeah, yeah, there was a gate change. So, yes, ma'am. You're in the right so, spot. Thank you. Another quick question. Uh huh. You to sit next to each other? Oh, y'all. There's so many seats on this one. Y'all get together. Oh, the, oh, yeah. Oh, there's right, like, uh, I think there's 70 open seats. Y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be good. Y'all have a whole row to yourself. Yes. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. <laughs> of course. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to flight 1745, sir. New Orleans. My name is Asia. I'm your operations agent here out of gate C67. As you guys can see, we are deplaning our aircraft. So once our deplaning process is complete, we are gonna go ahead and start boarding. It is posted for boarding at 8.23 right now, just because our plane came in a couple minutes late, but we are planning for on-time departure. So if you are traveling with anyone who left the area, please, please, please go ahead and give them a phone call. Have them come back this way. This is the last flight to New Orleans tonight. Everyone is allowed to take one small personal item that's going to fit under the seat in front of you, one carry-on item on board this flight. If you have more than those two, please go ahead and consolidate. If you cannot consolidate, we have customer service between gate 63 and 67. They're more than happy to help you. Anyone who's pre-boarding today, you may not occupy the emergency exit row. If you are under the age of 15, you may not occupy the emergency exit row for this flight. As always, personal consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited on this and all Southwest aircraft. All right, folks, I don't think we'll need to gate check any bags, but should we need to, please be sure to remove all prohibited items out of your baggage before doing so. Also, let's see here, uh, flight time, two hours and nine minutes before you guys touch down on the other side, and it is not a full flight. I actually need you guys to get on board and swear completely out once you're on board, please don't all bunch up in the front of the aircraft. It is uh, 70 open seats on board, guys. So when you get on board, please go ahead and spread out. Second? Number three, sorry. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's 95 open seats on board. Sorry. My back is off today. 95. <laughs> so do me a favor, guys. I don't like to tell people where to sit, but if everybody bunches up in the front, I will have to come on and spread you guys out according to weight and balance. So if you guys could just please spread out for me. Take a row, too. If you don't want to sit with somebody to travel with, don't. I won't judge it, but uh, just get on and spread out for me. And if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to assist you here at the gate mark 67. And thank y'all so much for choosing Southwest. We don't have blankets. They don't do that, don't and they're going to freeze y'all out when you get on here because they're hoping you go to sleep. <laughs> they're going to freeze us out. Hoping we go to sleep. How you going to go to sleep freezing like that? That's what they do. Especially these late night flights, they turn oh, the air up. Can you go to sleep cold like that? Mm-mm. 
I bring a heating pad, jacket. When it's like uh, snow and stuff, the city will actually bring blankets out for people here, but we don't have none on the planes. You can always ask a flight attendant, like, because the captain controls the temperature in the plane. So you can let the flight attendant know it's your cold and see if he'll turn the air off or something. It don't hurt to ask. Sometimes <laughs> my crew members. <sighs> Ladies, how are you? Good, thank you. It's a sweet day. Listen. I get it out. Go, go, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, baby. Oh, sorry. You're welcome, y'all. Um, it's not asking me for a zone count. I hope it stays that way. Amen. Um, why did it say? Thank you. Delayed a little bit. Just because the plane came in late, but we okay. still gonna try to go for on time. Okay. So we'll board. We'll it's spread out. It won't try to board. Well, our original boarding time is at eight fifteen, mm -hmm. but right now it has eight twenty three. So y'all can go for eight twenty three, and we'll still get y'all out of here on time. All right, my dear. Amen. How about y'all get a little second? And then I'll come check the live and potable here in just a second as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate you. Of Thank course. You. Thank y'all right. so much. I appreciate okay. you. <laughs> Take care, y'all. Have a good one. Ooh, we have somebody who's in eligible to board. Let's see why. Probably just avoid, yeah, just avoiding for us. I think there's no one. All right, folks, heading to New Orleans. My name is Asia. If you're just joining us, hi, welcome. We're going to be boarding here in about 13 minutes. Our uh, plane is here. We just finished our deplaning process. So if you need to make any last minute stops to run, please go ahead and do so now. 8.23, it's 8.11, so we'll start boarding here momentarily. My next flight is going to LA. They have 33 people on it. After that, I got two songs with 85 people. I hope those are not maxes. I hope they're 700s, because, Of course, thank you. Okay, they don't need lab, they don't need possible. Um, and they're already, so we're gonna board this thing up. Let's go chop chop. The ramp and night plan for games. All the bags are here. So, anyways, y'all. <laughs> let's go board our flight. I'll talk to you guys when I'm finished. All right, folks, if you're in my A boarding group, let's go ahead and get you lined up at the pillars directly in front of my boarding door. Do you have any pre boarders tonight? Anyone holding pre board, wheelchair, service, or mochina, allergy, meet, and assist? How are you? Fine. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Perfect, thank y'all so much. Thank you. Y'all have a good one, thank, thank you. you. Of course. A1, come on down, A1, come on down. How are you? Good. There you go, boo. <laughs> All right, 16 through 30, A16 through 30, let's roll. Sorry. Thank you. Have a good one. Hi, how are you? Good. All right, thank you. Sorry. Give me one second. Let me turn my screen here. There we go. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, New Orleans, please remember when you guys get on board, we're going to need you to spray completely across the entire aircraft. Please don't all bunch up in the front. You guys all know that New Orleans, all the seats are blue. Hello. We're going to New Orleans? Yes. All right. You guys all together? Yeah. Okay, you have all the passes? I do. Perfect, thank you. Y'all need any help getting down to the plane? No, no, no. Beautiful. Ooh. Of course. Y'all take care, have a good evening, y'all. Thank you. Did y'all come in from uh, Midway by chance? No, no. Okay, perfect. I'm looking for some Midway folks, so just double checking. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's the 67 down there too. I almost missed my flight yeah. sitting there. You weren't gonna miss it. I was gonna, call your, I was gonna call your name on the intercom before I let you miss it. You. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Attention on the Concord Southwest Airlines page and guests going to New Orleans flight 1745. If you are ticketed and confirmed, please come on over to gate C67 for departure. New Orleans 1745. Come on down to gate C67 for departure. There was a gate change earlier, but it happened at like 4 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It changed from gate 61 to 67. So hopefully so many people don't have hair passes and they'll come down. I'll just keep making announcements to try to get them over here too. I see people, they're coming. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, are you guys coming in from Midway by chance? 
No. Okay, you starting here? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll just need your boarding passes whenever you get them up, okay? Is it a full flight? No, ma'am, it's not. Um, as a matter of fact, just spread out when you guys get on. It's going to be a lot of open seats. Okay, perfect. So just to balance out the plane, we need everybody just to kind of spread out. You guys take a whole row for yourself if you Ooh. like, okay? Perfect. We was running. I, got, I just need your pass, oh. heart. Sorry. I'm all discombobulated. It's okay. I get it. <laughs> I don't like Hi. to be late. You must be. Hi, Ooh. sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> you look good. Oh, oh my goodness. You talk so well. You guys have a good one. <laughs> Six, seven. This is Asia. Just in case. Uh huh. Okay. Um, where is. Is she still over there by the store? She was sitting by the store. Okay, uh, thank you. Bye. CSS 67 copy. All right, y'all. I fit them to my jet bridge because I have two passengers just across my jet bridge. They appear to be intoxicated. My customer service agent called me and told me she just interact with them. They appear to be intoxicated. So just one second opinion. They come over to me. I talk to them for a little bit, see how they're walking, see how they're doing. Definitely appear to be intoxicated to me as well. So we're going to call a supervisor. CSS 67 copy. Okay. Update passengers are not flying. I love when a customer service supervisor had your back. Two of us agreed that's we appear that wait, two of us agreed that they appear to be intoxicated. She agreed to, so they ain't going. All my passengers are on board. So now I just need to see if the ramp is done, if they got those bags from midway yet. I doubt they got them yet, but no, they haven't. My fuel. I'm just gonna do manual math for my fuel because I don't wanna walk back down on Jet Bridge until I'm done with my flight, so my ramp just pulled the bell load out the front of the plane. I definitely didn't tell them to load nothing in the front of the plane except for my one gate check. So I hope they didn't go down there and just load it however they want to because I don't have time to be fixing issues tonight. Like, what are we doing? All right, they just closed. I verified only that one gate check got put up top and the rest of the bags up in the back. But thank you so much, ramp, for listening to me. I don't have time. Let me just call my customer service agent. My flight is still open. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, can you go ahead and close uh, 1745 New Orleans, please? Thank you so much. Bye. Flight is done. I'm going to put you in my pocket, so it's going to be black for a second. Or maybe I'll just put like another picture here. But I just want y'all to hear like the interaction between me and the flight attendants, okay? I'm going to say I never did nothing for y'all. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yep. 78 and I got version 1. Sure, thank you all so much. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate you. Thank you. Alright, New Orleans, we got everything. We got your bags and those folks who came in from Midway. So thank you so much for your patience. And on behalf of the entire Amber Ground Up crew, thank y'all so much for the Southwest and have a good evening. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just go ahead and crack the door. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Hopefully y'all can hear all that. Hopefully it wasn't too fast. I know I talk fast. I know. Let me find somewhere. Ooh. Okay, y'all don't have to hold on for a second. I need to pull the jet bridge back. And we're leaving early. Oh, they training somebody. That person right there, I used to work with at Spirit. He's training somebody. Oh. All right, normally I would stay at the bottom of the jet bridge wave my pilot off, but I just told him, but hey, I'm assigned to the flight. He's at the gate waiting for me. Do you mind if I go ahead and pull the bridge back and go? He was like, yeah, so. Let's get our stuff and go. Ooh, we got a dark jet bridge. Got a dark jet bridge. Yeah, hopefully the sensors will pick up and turn on. If not, I'll manually do it in a minute. It's all right. Our plane's here though. I don't know how I made it over here. <laughs> I just got over to Beacon Concourse. I look online, I said Cadova closed at 930, which means they closed in 30 minutes. So hopefully they ain't closed early. I can get me some chips and cake, so eat it, take my lunch break, and then my next plane is already here. Somebody pulled it in, and I'm on the outbound, so I leave at 1040. That means we board at 1010. I gotta be there at 10 o'clock, so. Let's go see if they're open. Yeah, yeah, it's still open. At least the lights are still on, so. That's so funny. The girl who's up there, we was just on the train together, so she must be coming up here trying to beat the suit. I think I want to get a bowl too. 
Or maybe I just want a bowl because I like the Chalua hot and sweet chicken. Hi, how are you? Um, can I do a bowl, please? Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Why does food cost twenty dollars? Thank you. Here's this for you. Thank you. May I have a copy of the receipt, please? Yes. All right. I was trying to go to Chick Fil A and get me a sun drawer, but as soon as I walked up, they closed. So um, I should have went there first. But I came to McDonald's and got me a high seat. I decided to just sit down over here on Concourse E and eat my food instead of trying to rush to get back over to see like it's still hot right now oh and gee it is so cold in here y'all i am um sitting at the computer and i was watching scandal but okay that's fine that could be in the background but i was watching scandal but y'all i'm so cold i just need to write out my fuel ticket real quick though the dispatch train this release is additional fuel for how turbulence weather Las Vegas, uh, not Las Vegas, Los Angeles, low visibility landing wave based on, okay. Just want to double check and make sure that's the fuel they wanted because that is a lot of fuel to be sent into uh, Los Angeles. Sometimes when you work in these cities so much, you just kind of get used to like what's pretty normal. So if there's really nothing happening like tonight, I don't notice anything. You kind of be like ears perked up. Like why is it so much? Anyway, y'all, I already planned the flight out. I'm just writing out the fuel ticket. I'm about to sit in front of the heater for like six minutes and then I'm gonna walk to my gate. Two, uh, 24,600 minus 17. Oh, I messed up. 24, 6 minus 17, 2 equals 7, 4. And we're going to 8.55. I don't know, I might just start walking down there now. Before I go, let me see if my crew is even here. Uh, some of them coming from Phoenix. That plane ain't even here until 10.23. OMG. It is 9.54. Now I'm about to go down there. That plane wants to be here in six minutes, but it ain't even gonna be here. But luckily they're just coming in at 2.54. That is gonna be my A, B, and C flight attendants. My pilots came in with the plane and my d is coming from san diego and marie is already here so marie got in like two hours ago i know she ready to go okay so we can't go nowhere this plane is supposed to leave at what time 10 40 they land at 10 20. we ain't going nowhere on time they thought they're working the flight Oh, well, it's only 38 people, too, but still, I know they're working that flight. Let me see how many people are coming off of their plane. Watch it be a whole full flight. Okay. Please, please just be deadheading or something. Let's see. Oh, say you lying. Uh, 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 uh. My crew's deadheading and they're not working it. That means I ain't got to wait for them to fully the plane. They're going to jump off of it and come right over. But yeah, never mind. Never mind. We still ain't boarding on time. But we can probably get out of here on time because it's only 33 people going on the plane. So, I'm not in a rush to get down to the gate. I'm about to call the gate, as a matter of fact, and tell them that our flight attendants are coming in late. But let her know she can clear standbys if she has any. Um, is there a CSA over there? Hey, um, I'm working in Los Angeles. Can you let them know that the plane might be a little bit late? Our flight attendants are coming in like 15 minutes before push. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm tracking their flight, but um, I mean, it's only 38 people too, so they're dead heading in. They're not actually working the flight, so that might help out a little bit. And then, um, right, and they're only at 54. Um, but if they have any standbys or anything like that, they can go ahead and clear them, and then I'm going to keep tracking their flight. I'll be down there probably in like 10 minutes or so. Oh yeah, it says the two captains, or the captain and the first officer were through, so. Bit. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. That was the supervisor. He was like, I was just looking at the flight, thank you. 
important. I'm always gonna call. Whenever I have a problem with my flight, call. I don't let my customer service agents be in the closet. We gonna all be on the same page. Cause one thing I like to do is run an organized flight. So now that we're on the same page, the girl about to turn on this heater. <laughs> let me plug it up, hold on. Because I am so, so cold. And I'm about to sit here for a minute with the heater on while I track their flight before I walk down there so I can try to get a little toasty. Oh, and I can probably update my panel while I'm waiting. All right, I had to have a supervisor work my flight for me as a customer service agent because I don't have one. So everybody's on board. Um, I did ask for zone counsel, now I have to go back down there, get my zone count paperwork and plug it in and we good to go. I'm back in the break room after doing my little flight. It took my terminator off of me and we have an hour left, so. y'all, that is it. We about to go ahead and close for y'all. So hopefully you like this video. If you enjoy videos like this, let me know. If y'all want me to keep making videos like this at work, but yeah, I guess we can go ahead and close out like I said, and I'll see y'all in a couple hours because it's already after midnight, so I will stop recording for tomorrow's Vlogtober. Probably when I wake up. I don't, I don't know, but yeah. Okay. Good night.